Hello ladles and jelly spoons and uh, welcome back to my channel. That, that was gross, wasn't it? Ladles and jelly spoons. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is a, it's a Monday morning, it's spring. Spring is spring has sprung. We have had a bit of snow. I've no I've I've not really done a, a proper vlog on my channel for a while because things have just been mad busy. You'll have seen we've done the launch, me and Joel have done the launch of Happy Healthy Homo. Um, work has been really busy, rugby. Um, just general life, so it's just been a bit manic. So this has been a bit lower down the priority list because something's got to give, and there's no point just running yourself into the ground. This was the thing that I've chose to give, but I'm a bit, a bit more organised. Got myself a bit sorted, so I can get back onto this. I've also got some vlogs that are running that are a bit longer term that are kind of in the pipeline, which I'm excited to bring you. So hopefully over, certainly over the next couple of couple of months weeks and months that they'll be coming out so there there's one on weight loss my own what i've been doing and just uh, a bit of a behind the scenes at what i've been doing with my coach and then there's um what i've been doing with my my therapist as well um and the stuff that we've been working on the impact that that's been having so they're longer term ones and they're kind of recording those in real time like as and when they happen so these will just be like a normal vlog see what goes on this week it's so it's monday morning joel's down at his mum and dad's it was mother's day yesterday uh, so he went to see his, his mum i had the kids here we didn't really do much yesterday T tonight this evening uh batley playing they're on tv i'm not playing i've been out for the last few weeks with a bit of a neck injury and i'm also away next weekend so uh, just didn't select me which is absolutely fine my body's very grateful for it i'll, I'll go down to the game um i'll probably sit uh one of the coaches sits by the by the sideline and one sits up in a box to watch and they kind of talk to each other on walkie talkies so i'll probably go up in the box to be a bit warmer uh, but i'm looking forward to get, getting down to to see the game to see the lads uh it's been really good the kids had football at the weekend it's just, it's just been really hectic i suppose this is the thing with you know teen it's oh, what is ostensibly two teenagers so this is a very steep hill um so i am just i've packed up I'm heading to Dunkin Donuts, I'm gonna have a coffee on there. I don't eat the donuts, I just go there to work. Gonna go on there, get some work done, uh, just for a bit of change of scenery. You know, sometimes the creative juices are not flowing as much, so packed up packed up a little bag, uh, taking my laptop and my, my planner and everything. Gonna get some work fired off this morning. Good morning, it is Tuesday and Joel is back. Hi I'm Joel. Home. Have you been vlogging without me? Yeah, it's what I do now. Oh yeah, that's the thing. If you get lonely, guys, just pick up the camera and talk to it. It 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 works. I, I wouldn't say it does. Joe went to see his mum and dad. He came back yesterday. He's got his new car now. I know. He, so excited. Uh, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, I'm really really excited. Everyone yesterday, my family were like, "Have you taken it for a spin?" And I haven't properly. So I'm um, going to do that today. Yeah. Well, I speaking of cars, I have actually got a speed awareness course because it's speeded and so I've got to do that. It's online though, so that's all right. I've got quite a busy, I've actually got quite a busy week this week with work and calls and then, and training and things. And then at the weekend, we're going to Copenhagen, aren't we, Joel? Yeah, and Sweden. Yes, so yeah, we're going to Copenhagen and we're gonna get the train over to Malmo, um, which is a really long bridge, so. Yeah, I don't know much else about Malmo to be honest with you, but we'll find out on Saturday. So we're just out with the dogs. It's very, very muddy um, because of all the snow that melted and the rain that we've had. So yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting to report today, is there, Joe? No, there isn't. Yeah, just Copenhagen's the main thing. We sorted the dogs today because none of our friends could look after the dogs. Literally, everyone was away. Everybody's away this weekend. So we have paid for a dog sitter. Or are they? <laughs> yeah. They're just like, no, not yeah. two dogs. No, we're away. Um, but yeah, we paid for a dog sitter who we've never met before, so I'm a little bit nervous. But Yeah, we're using an app called Roba, which has been recommended to us. So um... She have 36 five-star reviews, so I think they'll be absolutely fine. But Yeah, Joel is the overprotective mum. Yeah. I'm the one who goes, nah, it'll be alright. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll see. Wow, this is very muddy. I'm going to slip here. Hello, people. Nearly said hi, guys, then. Um, 
welcome back. It's Wednesday now. I realise I've not given you much to go out on this vlog so far. Me and Joel have been to the gym this morning. Mm -hmm. We're heading out to... We're walking up to Dunkin' Donuts to get our steps in and grab a coffee. Unfortunately, we're not grabbing a, a donut. We were, but then we ate two hot cross buns each. Yeah, I've never had hot cross buns and uh, Joel introduced me to them. I can't believe that. They're like a staple at Easter. Yeah, but it's essentially just a... So what we would call a toasted tea cake, so um, a current tea cake. So I, I don't feel like I've ventured into the realms of something completely new. Yeah, but what did we have? Yeah, we had some berry ones, like a toasted tea. Well, cake there was a salted that. caramel one, which yeah. was that was good. The berry one was a bit too berry. <laughs> um, but yeah, we our second episode of Happy Healthy Homo is out today. Um, if you've not checked it out, go check it out. We, we put some reels out yesterday to obviously to advertise it and so, you know we kind of expect to get comments about what we're talking about because I suppose it's going to ruffle a few feathers and some days the comments just roll off your back and some days they impact you a little bit more and today's been one of those days where they've gotten to me a little bit um, because there's a lot of hypocrisy in them and if there's one thing I can't stand it's hypocrisy. Um, essentially saying, you know, I'm not allowed to talk about certain topics because I look like this and I'm, you know, as society would say, handsome. And I acknowledge that, you know, because if I didn't, it would be like walking around talking about racism and not acknowledging that I was white. So it's, and then, but then by acknowledging it, you get people saying that you're arrogant. It's like a complete catch 22. Um, and also, I'm not the enemy. <laughs> like, I'm a gay man saying that gay men have got it rough and we're trying to, we should try and help each other out and make it better. And this is part of the issue is that it just all turns to infighting and it, yeah, it kind of got to me a little bit earlier on, but um, we were talking about it, weren't we, Joe? Yeah, it just fulfills that stereotype as well that gay men are bitchy and catty and, and it's like, no, stop. This is not what we want. Yeah. For the benefit of everyone. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, we're gonna walk down here. I've got a call to do down here with clients, um, and we're gonna treat ourselves to a coffee. And I'm actually gonna try some suits on today because in a couple of weeks, we're going to Joel's cousin's wedding, our first wedding together. Um, Second. First of my family, we went to John's wedding, your friend. Oh yeah, I just got very <laughs> drunk and don't really remember. That way, yeah, I had to take Keegan home. He's not allowed to get that drunk at this wedding. No, I won't be getting that drunk at this <laughs> wedding. Um, I got that drunk by accident. And it was Aperol. It's a long story, it's not for now. <laughs> so, I'll, uh, I've, I've got to get them taken in to the suit, see if they still fit or see if they need adjusting. So, I'll take you through that later on. How was your office hour? Is an office hour? Coffee with Keegs? Coffee with what is that? It's just like a casual chat with clients who jump on. It's just because yeah. coaching is not all about telling somebody what to do. A lot of the no. time, people know what they need to do. It's about relationships and getting mm. to understand people and just having an understanding of people's lives a little bit. Yeah, more helps us to coach them better. Yeah, so it's, it's not, otherwise, it can just be a bit transactional. Kind of. mm. Um, yeah, it's nice that you build that personal relationship with your yeah. clients. Yeah, I just think it's a really poor way of coaching. People don't respond well to it. No. You do this, you do that, I don't want anything else to do with you. Yeah. And also that, I don't, that doesn't seem No. Oh, you love a chat. I like getting to know people. Yeah. I'm a people person. <laughs> You join us in the spare bedroom, um, which is, seems to be suit store. I've got three suits here. So this one I've worn before um, and is dry cleaned, ready to go. This one I have never worn and it will, it'll need to be taken in and, and all that jazz. And then I think that's an old blue one in there. So I'm gonna try them all on. I'm gonna see what fits, because I mean, my body shape changes from time to time with when I'm playing rugby, when I'm not playing rugby, if I put weight on if I'm slimmer. So just get them adjusted. Doesn't cost a lot of money and, and then they fit nice either way. So here we go. That fits quite nicely. I think it's, it, you could take it in, but no one would know if you wore it as it is. Well, I need, it needs finishing at the bottom. Does it? Yeah, you know, the, the, when you buy a suit, the bottom is unfinished. Right. 
When you buy like a, a proper suit, a proper suit not like me, my cheap ones finished. from River Island. Finished. Um, so it needs bringing in a bit here. It's a bit yeah. Big. Well, that's nice. Um, but I could wear it with a white shirt. Could wear it with a light blue shirt. Yeah. We'll see. I, I'm I'm okay. I'm, I, that fits fine. Yeah, very nice. It's not too tight on the calves. Let's no. see what else is doing. Suit number two. Yeah, I know it looks weird with the t-shirt on, but. Um, how does that look? Yeah, I like that. That looks like it doesn't need fitting. But it's already been done. It's already been done, and it looks... I'm obviously in similar shape to... Yeah? I was when I got it done. Which um, was how long ago? Oh, don't know. Ooh. He's not sure about the shoes with that, but I think it looks See, these nice. these are brand new shoes. I've got some nice black ones, which obviously I can, I can wear, but I, could, I don't know if I can... can I yeah. Those? I think so. They look good. Probably white shirt with this. Yeah. Don't know what colour type. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think we should wear this. Go with that one, yeah. Good. Well, that's that. Joel has decided that I'm wearing I feel like that's a bit more of a, a winter suit, but Joel seems to think that one. So we're gonna go get Fletcher now. Um Taylor's actually on a school trip, so I'll be getting her later on, so Gotta go do that. Yeah, ooh, light. So it's the evening of the Wednesday. Children, children, Joe, we are playing a game. What's this game, Taylor? Slay. It's called Here to Slay. Slay, slay, slay. Slay the boots the house down. Slay all day. <laughs> How are you finding it, Joe? Confusing. Yeah, it's Joe's first time. I think I'm gonna get into it. But the eight year old and the teenager understand it, so. Eight year olds? How old are you? 10. Oh, missed a few years then. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, we are. Fletcher's up phone can't be far away, obviously. But yeah, we're doing we're doing all right. Family phone, yay. Slay. <laughs> Slay. Good morning. It is Thursday. I've just dropped the kids off at school. Um, I'm actually going for breakfast with a couple of friends from rugby this morning. Uh, but I've got about 45 minutes, so I thought I'd get some steps in because I've got a super, super busy day after this. I've got calls with with clients and people wanting to join join the programme. So I always have calls with people to make sure that I can actually help them to make sure that the programme is right for them because otherwise it's a waste of people's money. It's a waste of um, it's a waste of people's time. So I want to make sure that it's right for them. So I've got a few of those calls today. Then I've got the get get the kids uh, this afternoon because uh, they're at mine t tonight. Then I've got uh, I've got therapy. I've got my uh, TMP session with Kieran, um, which I'm really looking forward to. And then I have got rugby training. Um, as you can hear. I've, I'm a bit nose, nasally, I think I've got um, like a bit of a head cold, I don't feel particularly ill but my breathing's not great, my nose has been really runny um, and it really impacted my sleep, I was going to get up early this morning and go to the gym but I did not sleep well last night at all and, and my alarm went off at 5.30 to go to the gym, I, I snoozed it, I'll be honest with you. So. I'm just going to do my best to get my steps in today and look after myself as well as I can because um, tomorrow morning uh, after I've dropped the kids at school we're going to Copenhagen so yeah busy really really busy day I'm a, I'll be honest I'm a bit not worried about it but I know it's going to be full on so I'm just taking one thing at a time be present concentrate and see how we go but it's a glorious glorious day so it's been a bit of a mad day today I'm just about to do my session with Kieran my um, therapy session. Um, I've been to pick the kids up, I've been on calls, um, one cancelled so then I went and got some steps in, did a bit on the bike and then we've got to drop the dogs, dogs off this evening, my sister's coming, um, I'm supposed to have rugby training but I don't think I'm going to be able to go. Uh, tomorrow we're heading out to Copenhagen for a well literally for like 48 hours. A client of mine invited us to the opening of the business but you know sometimes when fitting loads of stuff in and it seems a bit hectic so it's a bit mental at the minute so i'm just going to jump on this call with, with, with kieran these sessions have been going really well i've been really enjoying them i'm getting a lot out of them um see how we go today there's something that i had a bit of homework that i've not that i've kind of put off um so that's my big thing to get around to next week but yeah i'm going to jump on that 
Um, and then I've got another call and then we'll go drop the dogs off and I'll take you with me. I'm sorry, I've not taken you with me much today. Um, when, when I went for breakfast with, uh, with Danny and Chris, it was just a case of catching up, you know, and didn't want to stick a camera in, in the faces, so. Yeah, here we are, we are taking the dogs to their hotel. They're going to their hotel, dog hotel. It's not a hotel, it's an app called Rover, not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. Um, yeah, literally all our friends are away this weekend, so they didn't want the dogs, so. Or they just hate Fen and Ava, we can't work out which we one it is. We can't figure out, or it's a very special weekend, the 24th of March. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're taking them to this lady. Joel's a bit apprehensive. I just don't like leaving it is them, but I don't, especially don't like leaving Ava, because again, do you know what I've thought? I'm like, you know what she's like? If she's not locked in a separate room, she'll be crying at night, she won't sleep. But then I'm like, Joel, she's a dog. She'll get used to it. They'll be okay. And they'll be together. Fine. Yeah, they've got each other, haven't they? And we're going away for two nights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's three nights they're staying away because this is the night before, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, it is essentially, it's not very long. And it's better than being home alone. Well, yeah, what was it? our other option was to just lock them in the house and <laughs> yeah. lock which they obviously which wouldn't do. Obviously you? not. Um, but yeah, that would essentially be the other option. So I'm glad that they're being looked after. And this girl doesn't have dogs. She's got five, 36 five-star reviews on this app. So she obviously loves dogs and loves just looking after dogs. And yeah, and it was our friends it. who were very particular about their dog recommended this app. So okay. Um, Oh, that's good. I didn't know that. It was, and and yeah. the MP was it? it yeah. Oh, good. Well, my manager today was like, oh, yeah, I'm on that app as well. And she does it in London for people. There you go. So, she yeah. looked after the dogs. I know. <laughs> but they will be fine, won't they? Fen's looking where he's going. Ava is lying down. They've got their <laughs> sea belly things on. Yeah. Yeah, so we're dropping them off and then my sister's coming. Um, and then we're going on a little sojourn to Hartwood to Scandinavia. To Copes. Yeah. Can, that, can we abbreviate it to that? Coops. Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll be very fun. And Sweden! Sweden! I can't wait to go to Sweden and practice my Swedish. Hello, Flickers! I did one Duolingo lesson and now I think I can speak Swedish fluently. Hello, Flickers! Flickers. Means, hey, girls! Or Kvinga was Kvinga. Woman. I think Kvinga is woman and oh, Flicka is girl, I think. Yeah. Why are they the, they the only two? words I remember. Hello Kavinga. <laughs> yeah, very good. Here we are, Friday morning. We're going to Copenhagen. The kids are eating the breakfast. Taylor's eating jam on toast. Taylor, tell us about your toast. It's got butter and then jam. And I, I me and Amber's here guys, everybody Amber. We, that's how we were brought up. You put butter on, butter, batter on first and then jam. Taylor said just jam. Um, Fletch, what you got? Nutella on toast. Nutella on toast. You enjoying that? Are we ready for school? Are we ready to have a wonderful day at school, guys? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to have a wonderful time in Copenhagen? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so wait. Oh, it's all fogged over. <laughs> it is absolutely Miz here today. Um, we are going to drop the kids off, so we're going to have five of us in the car. We're going to drop the kids off. School and here she is. Oh look, content, content, content. Everyone is on the bus. Yeah, Joel. This is very early for Joel. It is ten past seven. She doesn't. She doesn't grace our presence with this. Look, look at him. Really, hands on the hip, doing his best teacup impression. Um, so we are going to finish up here, tidy up, and that's okay. That's because I lovingly made you a coffee ready, isn't it? Thank you, it is. You'd be the best. Yeah, look at that hideous life in. Um, so we're going we're gonna, to uh, finish up here, head over to Copenhagen, and I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, like it, subscribe it, share it, do all the YouTube things. You know what you're doing. What should they do, kids? <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Nice fletch. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye, everybody.